in case he needs it uh, during the work outside of the International Space Station. And uh, now being moved by Scott Kelly on the left, Sergei Volkov on the right. Now the hatch is being closed uh, to isolate uh, Copra and Peak and to set the stage for the start of the depressurization of the crew lock section of Quest. Forward, I think that will help. And uh, you see Tim Copra, very visible uh, with the red stripes as EV-1 or extravehicular crew member number one for today's spacewalk. Now outside of the hatch of Quest, he'll be joined by Tim Peake momentarily. Approaching the starboard seat of cart. And Reed, I know the procedure has me grab the uh, APFR first. Would you like me to uh, grab the anchors first as an option? Tim, it's, I'd say it's completely up to you. Uh, if you want to drop those hooks first, that's fine. All right, that sounds great, Tim. Thanks. And there is a close-up view of Tim Copra uh, working at the base of the 1B solar array. Again, uh, as he attaches uh, various pieces of equipment. Excellent. Down. An excellent view from uh, Tim Copra's helmet cameras looking right up the 1 Bravo array. A moment ago, you saw two uh, boxes uh, behind the portable foot restraint, uh, one of which is the electronic control unit uh, for the 1B array, and one is uh, the object of attention today, the failed sequential shunt unit. I see that too, it's a good position. And I put probably over 20 pounds of torque into it with no issue or with no result. Okay, sounds good.